We lived in Hertfordshire for many years and you come back here and you kind of see Shetland in a, maybe a different set of eyes. The quality of the product we have in Shetland are just so good and I think everybody should be really proud of oh, the livestock, the meat and the vegetables and the, the seafood. It's kind of second to none. I think we should do everything that we possibly can to promote that across the world. So our body came to about it. Just looking for stalks that are fairly tender still and there, they're all looking fine still except the leaves. We had a few gales over the last few days or high, higher winds and uh, the leaves have taken a bit of a batter and, and we can just pull it for the bottom. The leaves also will make good compost so gather a few. There's so many to choose from. As you can see somewhat as maybe no as, as red as other varieties but it seems to be lovely for mac and jam and for cooking in general. I've chosen some of the stalks that's maybe not quite too thick, but I think they're all pretty tender. Um, and it's a very simple recipe, but you just cut up the rhubarb into the pretty slices like this. And the recipe says to do three and a half cups of rhubarb to three and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to pour 150 millilitres of um, just ordinary white vinegar. Then I'm going to cut up a lemon would say 20 cups of water. Now I would measure that out to be about four litres of water and it's as simple as that. So give it a good stir and then we're going to let that sit for 48 hours. It's strange why the recipe can because I run a, a pretty B&B &B, and uh, it was one of my guests at CAM and they came all the wife to Australia. And we were speaking about rhubarb one day and she says, oh, I have a really good recipe. Um, so she sent it to me and I thought, oh, give it a go. And uh, in fact, it really turned out to be good. Quite a refreshing thing. If you put it in the fridge and it's cold in there, then it's really refreshing. Time to have a look and see what that's been doing. All we're going to do is get the sieve to use just an ordinary uh, plastic bottle. It allows the whole thing to expand and there's an amazing amount of pressure for the inside as you'll see. Put it to one side for, well I think about two weeks. Do we experiment enough? Probably not. Sometimes we think oh it's very quick to go to the supermarket and that's something up but again the fresh ingredients here you almost don't need to do an awful lot of weight for it to taste really good. I think uh, now's the time to open it. Will we try it and see? doesn't quite have the same impact as opening a champagne bottle, but you can just see the amount of bubbles coming up. We just love to cook. Everything seems to revolve around gatherings and food. It's just so fine for everybody to come together. Food is still the kind of focus that you can sit down and just relax and enjoy it. And of course we have to go with it now. <laughs>